Customising your reports is a fairly straightforward process when using the project setup. It makes it feel very easy for us to take an existing project report and customise it to show more specific information. Say, for example, you want to produce a pump list rather than have all the equipment shown. Let's take a look at how that's done. So we're going to go up to our project settings. And under reports, you'll see our predefined reports list. Now we're going to create something new. So I'm going to base it on equipment list. And we can take a look here and just see the preview is that we have everything. We have pumps, we have tanks, we have exchangers. So we're going to choose that as a basis. And we're going to say new. Now it's going to default that to a copy of equipment list. And I'm just going to change this and call it pump list. We're going to start with the equipment list as our default. And we're going to replace the tables because the information is going to be different. We're going to replace the existing tables with just the pump tables that we use. So let's replace this equipment. And we don't want the blowers. We're going to come down and we're going to specify that we only want the pumps. And we're going to continue and continue again. Now we're back to the report list where we can actually customize what we have in here. I'm going to leave the drawing and the drawing name and the title. And let's take a look here. Now, we only have the option for pumps. So I'm going to come down and say, let's include the description, manufacturer, model number, supplier. Let's have the type. And let's take a look at, we'll throw the comment in here. Just in case there are any comments, we can then see them because this is a pretty specific list. And I'm going to reorganize here. I'm going to take this P and PID number and move that to the end. So the order is going to be the tag, the description. I'll move the supplier down. I'll move the model number up. I'll move the type up. And we'll leave the comment, the drawing name and the number at the end. So when we're fine, we say OK. And you'll see the pump list has been added. And you can take a preview to see if all the information that you actually want is shown. And it looks good from what I can see. So we'll just say OK. So now let's take a look at Data Manager. Just going to open any drawing and under our data manager here under project reports you'll see that that pump list now is listed under your project reports so we can take just that list you see all the values the same as we set up we're going to export that out to our exercise files chapter 12 project reports and we now have our pump list let's go to excel and take a look at that and you can see there we have a nice clean list of all the information that we may want to see about the pumps. And that's a great report for running internally. By creating custom project reports, you can really reduce the amount of data that you export from the project. These reports aren't formatted and they don't look pretty enough to be used as project deliverables, but they do allow you to create tailored lists on demand to distribute internally to other team members that need specific information.